Cucumbers are number eight on my list of the best vegetables for new gardeners. They are fairly easy to grow and each plant produces a good sized crop. The plants do take quite a bit of space, but I'll show you how to overcome this limitation. Cucumbers are a warm season crop. They can't take frost and you can't plant seeds in the ground until it warms up. Once a plant starts producing cukes, it will continue until frost. Each plant will produce about two cucumbers per week, so you can see that for an average family, you don't need a lot of plants to keep a salad on the table. By the way, is a cucumber a fruit or a vegetable? Botanically speaking, it is a fruit because it is the part of the plant that is used to make seeds. A tomato is also a fruit. There are many types of cucumbers, but if this is your first time, stick to the common variety, which some people call the American cucumber. Some good cultivars include straight eight and market more. English cucumbers are a bit harder to grow in the garden, but if you want them, give them a try. They're not that hard to grow. Pickling cucumbers are grown in the same way as the American cucumber, but they're not as good for eating fresh. Cucumbers make some people burp, and some older varieties are bitter, but most of today's common varieties are both bitterless and burpless. For more on this topic, see my blog post called How to Grow Cucumbers Without Bitterness. There are two ways to start cucumbers, seedlings or direct sowing. In short season locations, it is a good idea to use seedlings because it extends the harvest season. In warmer areas, seeding direct is preferred because it is much easier to do. I live in zone 5 and mostly direct seed because it's easier. I could produce a lot more fruit by using seedlings. If you're going to start seeds indoors, start them about 4 weeks before the last frost date and plant outside about 2 weeks after the last frost date. The soil should be warm enough by then so that the seedlings will start growing right away. If you want to seed direct, you need to wait until the soil is about 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 degrees centigrade, which happens two or three weeks after the last frost date. Most online information and the seed packs will tell you to plant several seeds on a hill. That is a myth that I discuss in my Garden Myths book too. Historically, the word hill means a group, not a mound of soil. Over time, people misinterpreted the term and started planting on a mound. There are some benefits for this, but for most people, you can just plant on flat ground. What about planting several seeds together? In large fields, you can do this and let each vine grow outwards like the spokes of a bicycle. But in smaller gardens, this is a waste of space. You can still plant several seeds together, but once they germinate, cut off all but one plant. You don't want competition from a second plant. Space seeds or seedlings about two feet apart. If you have the space, four feet is better. Where should you plant them? Keep in mind that cucumbers are vines and they are large plants. If you have the space, you can just let them cover a large piece of ground. But for most of us, we have smaller gardens and a spreading vine takes up far too much space. The solution is to grow vertically. You can make all kinds of trellis. The plant really doesn't care. It will climb up almost anything. Here's a suggestion. Try to find an existing trellis in the garden. A chain link fence is perfect. An old clematis trellis works, provided it no longer has a clematis growing on it. Does your back deck have a railing? Add some string to it and you have a trellis. Or add some wires to a standard wooden fence. If you're growing in a raised bed, put the trellis on the north side and plant other things in front of it. It is important to plant the vine so that it gets lots of sun. Also keep in mind that the north side of any trellis is shady and many things won't grow well there. But it is the perfect place to put some cool growing lettuce. Once the cucumber is growing, keep it well watered, but water only when the soil dries out. Some compost or fertilizer will help things along. If you're interested in understanding your soil better, have a look at my book, Soil Science for Gardeners, which will show you how to build healthy soil. The vine is now growing and you get your first yellow flower. 
you are very happy. Soon you will be harvesting your first cucumber. Or not. Cucumbers make both male and female flowers. The first few flowers are almost always males and they don't produce fruit. You have to wait until the plant produces female flowers. How do you tell the difference? A female flower will already have a small cucumber right behind the flower, as in this picture. Female flowers still need to be fertilized for the fruit to grow, but you can see the baby cuke as soon as the flower opens. A male flower, as in this picture, has no such baby cuke. Once female flowers are produced, cucumbers start growing quite fast. Keep an eye on them and harvest early. If the cucumber starts getting yellow, you waited far too long. If they get nice and thick, you also waited too long. Once they thicken up, the seeds inside are developing and it is less desirable for eating. Pick early and often. Check vines every couple of days. Cucumbers have two main problems. The first is mildew. This forms a white coating on the leaves. It's a fungal disease and as it progresses the leaves get whiter and whiter. Once they are completely covered, they are useless to the plant which then stops making fruit. You can spray with a fungicide, but a home remedy can work. I rarely recommend home remedies because 99% of what you see on the internet doesn't work. But in this case, there is one that does. Make a mixture of baking soda in a quart of water and spray plants once a week. It is best to start spraying before you see mildew. But even if you start once you see it, this spray will slow down the disease so that you will still get a good harvest. The second possible problem is the cucumber beetle. Adults have yellow and black stripes on their back and they love to eat cucumber leaves. There is also a less common species that has black spots instead of bars. You can try to catch the beetles and drop them in soapy water, but that can be difficult if you have a lot. You can also try an insecticidal soap. That is all there is to growing cucumbers. It is an easy crop for the beginning gardener and pound for pound it is one of the most productive. I've been growing cukes for 40 plus years because they're easy and always produce well. To see a list of the 10 best vegetables for new gardeners and a separate video on how to grow each one, click on the link in the top right hand corner. It'll take you to a whole bunch of videos that you'll just love. Have fun growing veg in the garden.